Hello and welcome to all new i20 Pan-European Test Drive video presentation. My name is Ashkin Kahraman, I'm the product manager of all new i20. The all new i20 is truly human ready. Throughout this video, me and my colleagues will further explain you what it means to be human ready for this car itself, but most importantly for our customers. The all new i20 has a complete new design. This is the first model we introduced into European B segment with our sensuous sportiness design identity. It also has the most comprehensive safety and connectivity package in its segment. And for the first time, we are introducing the 48 volt mild hybrid electrified powertrains in I-20. Hyundai launched its first generation i20 in 2008. Since then, we have launched three generations and in each generation we enhanced the model further. Now Andreas Christoph Hoffmann will further explain you what this model means to us and how it fits to our wider strategy in Europe. We are setting new standards in the B segment with latest features with a progressive design. My name is Andreas Hofmann. I-20 always has been and hopefully will be top sales driver in Europe. This car is built in Europe for Europe. You might know that some competitors have already stepped out of the A and B segment, but we still believe that our customers and especially prospects are still interested in these kind of cars. That's why we still offer an I-10 and of course the new i20. We can call it the safest and best equipped car in the segment. On this basis, we created a campaign which we call Human Ready. It shows that in all situation, i20 will be ready if the human being might not be ready, especially in critical situation. With this strategy, we believe that we can reach not only our loyal customers, but new customers, especially younger customers as well. Thank you, Andreas. The all new i20 plays a very strategic role in the European lineup of Hyundai. Now, Thomas Brückler, our chief designer, will give you more insight about the new design of all new i20. On the i20, we lowered the roof, we made the car wider, we lengthened the wheelbase, we gave it a sharper look. Um, it has a certain sexiness and it creates, evokes feelings. My name is Thomas Bergler. I'm the chief designer of Hyundai Design Center Europe. Our design philosophy for Hyundai is sensuous sportiness. It stands for good proportion, um, architecture, technology and of course design. The car should speak to your senses. In the past we had a separate front grille and headlamps. And now what we did on the i20 is unifying the headlamps with the front grille. This is something new and it's special. On the rear we actually combined the rear lamps with a band and what is really new and different the black area which is usually stopping at the level of the rear window we pulled down towards uh, the middle of the tailgate so it ends where the rear lamps unit starts and to even make this effect stronger we have an optional two-tone color so you can combine the colors with a black roof and this even brings visually the car more down and makes it even more sporty looking. Additionally, we have really high tech in the car. We have this uh, paddle design, we call it, of the 10 inch screen in high resolution. And we have also the digital meters. And all together, this interior really stands out. Light plays a bigger role in the exterior side but also in the interior side and for example we put an ambient light inside the car which um, creates a modern light fresh atmosphere thank you thomas the all new i20 has very bold looks 
However, when we talk about the all-new i20, it's not only about the looks, we have much more to tell you. For example, our powertrain lineup is completely renewed with advanced technologies. Michael Winkler will give you more insight about the powertrain lineup. Hyundai is really leading in terms of electrification, for example, with the fuel cell system, but also battery electric vehicles, plug-ins and full hybrids are known for Hyundai. For the first time, we bring electrification to the B segment. My name is Michael Winkler and I'm responsible for powertrain activities in the European R&D Center. Well, the, the i20, of course, has to face um, two items. One item is the performance development, but of course also emissions and CO2. The lineup of the all-new i20 features uh, a wide range of powertrains and transmissions. And we start with the 1.2-liter MPI engine, which offers 84 horsepower. It's paired with a five-speed manual transmission. For the European market, we do expect that the all-new 1.0-liter turbocharged gasoline engine will be the dominating variant in terms of sales. The uh, 1.0-liter turbocharged gasoline engine uh, features two main technologies. On the one hand side, it is a Hyundai Motor Group specific CVVD system, a continuously variable valve duration system. It allows us to open the valves of the intake as long as we need it. And on the other hand, it features a low pressure EGR system. Both of them allow us to optimize performance, fuel consumption and emissions. The 48 volt mild hybrid system is first time available on a gasoline engine and it is paired with an electrification of the six-speed manual transmission. We call it an IMT system. IMT stands for Intelligent Manual Transmission. The idea of the IMT is to automatically decouple engine and transmission when the driver releases the accelerator pedal. And dependent on the conditions, there are two scenarios. On the one hand side, the engine is separated but still in idle, or the engine is even switched off when the driver demands driving again, the engine is switched on again and the gear is automatically engaged. The benefit, of course, is fuel consumption, not only during certification, but also in real-world driving. Both the 100 and the 120 horsepower gasoline turbocharged engines are available with our 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. Thank you, Michael. As you have heard, our IMT technology is a real game changer for the all new i20. Being human ready is also about safety. Vanapeta will give you more details about it. The i20 is really leading the market index class. This is really unique what we can offer to our customer. My name is Werner Peter. I'm the head of the electronic system development uh, team here in uh, HMETC. Today, the main focus will be the ADAS functions. So one specific highlight for the all new i20 is the intelligent speed limit uh, assist functions. So the intelligent speed limit assist functions can uh, detect a speed limit on the road and can also adjust the speed of the car accordingly. We have also a navigation-based uh, smart cruise control curve function. So besides the conventional smart cruise control, which is basically adjusting the vehicle speed dynamically depending on the traffic, this system can predict based on the navigation data whether there is a curve on the road. If there is a curve on the road, the system can also reduce the speed in order to provide highest stability and safety to, to our drivers. So we have implemented in the all-new i20 also the, the lane following assist. We have also the blind spot uh, collision avoidance assist. Basically this function is preventing a collision coming from the blind spot area during lane change. The rear cross traffic collision avoidance uh, assist is sending whether there is cross traffic while the car is uh, reversing. The enhanced forward collision avoidance uh, assist can now detect cars, pedestrian as well as cyclists. On top of that we have also the forward collision uh, assist junction turn feature which is uh, basically supporting the driver during left turning maneuvers. 
Besides the driving functions, we also support our customers by implementing parking functions. So one of the parking functions is the parking assist. The parking assist is providing semi-autonomous parking. We have also the parking collision uh, avoidance assist, reverse. So I'm specifically very, very proud to have the chance to develop those functions. Thank you, Werner. As you have heard, the only Y20 offers the most comprehensive safety package in the B segment. Now we will talk about how it is to drive the all-new i20 and for this we will hear from Tyron Johnson. We're very happy to introduce this uh, new exciting uh, product, the i20. Uh, we have made many improvements. My name is Tyron Johnson. I'm the um, HOD, Head of Department for VTD here at HMETC. I'm responsible for anything that the customer comes in contact with on the car. For the i20 and for many other cars, uh, what we do is try to understand as engineers how can we improve the next product. And uh, uh, good hints on that are always in um, uh, the press for how they see uh, room for improvement on the previous product, but also to listen to the voice of the customer, to get data from actual customers, uh, how satisfied they are with their previous product, and in that information, we're able to identify uh, further improvements that we can, uh, we can make in the next product, in this case, the i20, and focused on a couple of uh, specific areas for improvement, uh, namely ride and handling and steering. There were some opportunities there that we saw, but also in terms of internal comfort um, for HVAC and maybe some NVH improvements also. So if you break it down into the various categories of areas that we improved, uh, steering for example, there are some stiffness and structural differences or improvements rather that um, can be made to vehicles which were made on the I-20. Uh, things like mounting points for suspension uh, systems, um, geometry changes uh, on the rear suspension, um, things like steering ratios. Uh, those are all areas that uh, are opportunities for improvement that manifest themselves in uh, improved steering feel, improved ride and handling, performance feel of the, car, of the car, handling feel of the car. Fundamental things like vehicle dimensions, uh, wheelbase on this car is longer than the previous and uh, one of the longest uh, in the category. Uh, that helps stability in driving uh, and the customer again notices this uh, when he's driving. It is a smaller type of vehicle but he uh, gets a feeling of a more um, let's say robust ride feeling of the car due, the, due to the longer wheelbase. The height of the car is also important in terms of lowering the uh, C of G. Again, the customer notices this in terms of stability improvements. Thank you, Tyrone. As well as being a good drive, i20 is still a trustworthy and a reliable choice. To prove you what we mean, i20 is now coming with the industry-leading 5-year unlimited mileage package as standard. Besides being safe and assuring, i20 is also well connected. Now Lars Miller is going to tell us more about what's so special in the new connectivity package of all new i20. My name is Lars Müller and I'm the responsible connected car manager for Hyundai here in Europe and since connected car is always coming in combination with infotainment, my activity is also extended to this field. This generation of i20 is introducing a segment leading 10 and a quarter inch digital cluster and in the same size a fully connected HD navigation infotainment system. Both screens are visually combined for even more elegant look. Talking about infotainment with this car we are offering as well wireless charging, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and three USB ports, one for fast charging, one for connectivity, and one for the passengers in the back. The most important new feature in our connected car lineup is Hyundai's new connected routing. Connected routing means we are now not anymore calculating the navigation route on the device. We are using a cloud-based system, and this cloud-based system is offering an even more precise and accurate route for your daily drive. This online-based navigation system is super easy to use thanks to an online free text search. And this is exactly what you expect as well from your favorite navigation app on your smartphone. To make your daily drive even more convenient, 
we also upgraded our live parking services. On-street parking is now coming with price information and we extended the coverage to 43 European countries. We did not upgrade it only the navigation system, but also our Blue Link companion app. And my favorite feature is last mile navigation. You get a pop-up on your screen and then you can simply hand over the route guidance to your smartphone and you can use augmented reality with our Blue Link app or Google Maps on your smartphone. This i20 is the first Hyundai model in Europe featuring a Bose premium sound system this system offers a high-quality listening experience thanks to eight speakers, including a subwoofer. A powerful listening experience, what is exactly expected when customers hearing the name Bose. Thank you, Lars. The all-new i20 offers a very strong connectivity package. Together with its bold design, top safety features, and very efficient powertrains, it's a great package. It's truly human ready. And there is more. Soon we will be launching two additional exciting models into i20 family. The all new i20 N line will feature more dynamic design. And the all new i20 N will also join our N family, offering thrilling driving experience on the road and on the track. Thank you very much for watching.